My name is Anthony Anderson, and this is my story. Growing up in Edenwall, in the Bronx, projects, it taught us so much about survival. You know, my mom, growing up, she tells me that she didn't have nothing to look forward to until she had us. My pops was in the street, full-time in the street, part-time father, but I learned so much from the things he did right and so much from the things he did wrong. But it took a toll on me. So for a long time, you know, I, I was numb. I didn't care about anything. I built that wall up to keep disappointment out. I lived life like that for a while, man, just, just giving up. After high school, you know, graduating with a 65, that's how I looked at life, man. You know, all I needed was a 65 to graduate. That was, that's all I had to produce. My first job was working at Models as a security guard. You know, I wound up losing that job. At the Models, I just went from one dead-end job to another dead-end job. It got depression. I started drinking crazy, putting on a lot of weight, and being places I shouldn't be. I've been in places where, you know, I thought I wouldn't make it home. I was out of control. So, you know, one day, one day, I, I'm walking, and it's hard for me to breathe. Every step I took, it was harder and harder to breathe. I took an Uber to the hospital. The doctor said I had partial heart failure. That was my biggest reality check. You know, you're here today and you could be gone today. You know, when I got out that hospital, for me, it was a second chance at life and I knew I had to start dreaming again. I had to start finding purpose. I had to learn to love myself. That was the key component that was missing and me trying to feel it up with fast food, try to fill it up with alcohol, try to fill it up with people validation. All I had to do was just learn how to love myself. I had to stare in the mirror and tell myself, I love you, I love you, I love you. I started listening to motivational speeches. I started working out. I started reading. I told myself, don't search for the validation, just put the good in the universe. That's more powerful than any validation, any dollar. Once I started doing the work, you know, I created a standard to live by every day. I said, okay, you know, you are fantastic and only improving. So there's no finish line. You keep being a student, keep working on yourself, and that's how fantastic and only improving was created. I decided to put that saying on a sweatshirt because maybe it can help somebody else get through a void or a tough time that they've been going through. My dream is to make a small impact on the world. I always want people to see the sunset, no matter if there's stains on the window.